Paul Enenche. I ordained him in February 1996. Abel Damina received a backlash after exposing certain things about Dr. Paul Enenche and his wife, Becky. Now, this is something that some persons are saying he shouldn't have exposed and it's a past matter. But while speaking on the Honest Bunch podcast, you know, Honest Bunch podcast, you don't know what sometimes, you know, you will not even know what you're saying before you will say certain things. He went ahead and exposed that Paul Enesha and his wife, you know, had some issues while they were about to get married. Now, listen. In fact, we played a role in making the mother allow them to get married because there was a little opposition and I know I... Now, according to Abel Damina, there were some little fracas and some little oppositions during, you know, the time when Pastor Dr. Paul Eneche and his wife wanted to get married. Even though, you know, things, things like this are actually normal. Sometimes when you want to get married, your mom or your dad might not agree. Whereas there are some people, when you want to get married, everybody is so... Uh, supportive of your marriage and all that even though this couple you know for the past years have made their marriage you know look like oh everything has been so sweet parents are so supportive and all that and even if parents are not supportive those days it's past okay it's over 20 years over two decades so um ever damina bringing it up on a honest bunch podcast is what people term like oh maybe he's saying too much or he's doing too much you know Looking at Abel Damina, people want to say that, okay, he's a good preacher. I believe that he's a good teacher. Like, he's teaching the Bible very well. But these days, it seems like he just here to expose some men of God. And it's not, it's, not, it's not right before others, okay? Now, I know that that is Honest Bond Podcast. That Honest Bond Podcast, we've seen a lot of persons come out there to speak. And in the process of speaking, they even say things that they're not supposed to say. Which, where people have judged them before in the past. Presently, uh, something happened between Yule Deche, um, uh, his wife May, and y Yvonne Jagede. All those fracas happened on Honest Bond podcast where Yvonne Jagede had to even rephrase her statement and all that. And that's not what she meant, okay? This is to tell you that when you're on Honest Bond podcast, sometimes you don't even know what you are saying before you know you spill it. Pah. You get the point? So that was why when this pastor wanted to go to Honest Bond podcast, to that podcast, people were saying that a hey, pastor is not supposed to be on a podcast because you will not know when you will not control yourself and you go and say certain things. Now, you went there and you are exposing somebody's marital issues of years ago, how you spoke to the mother to allow the two persons get married. You know, it doesn't even make sense. Now, he has made the whole world know that the wife's mother, Becky's mother, was not in support. He spoke to the wife's mother. The wife's mother was his treasurer in jaws. And when they wanted to get married, the mother was not in support. Maybe probably because uh, Dr. Paul Enechi did not have money that time. Who knows? Or maybe, I don't know, but you know the way parents behave sometimes. You know, when they, when they see that your sister is not the kind of person they want, they'll start acting so funny. And according to him, he played a role as a pastor. After people are, people keep telling him that he did not ordain Pastor Paul Eneche, and he said he did. And he mentioned the year which I've already watched and listened from his own mouth. And he said that his friend, that's um, the pastor of Salvation Ministry, David Ibiomie, he said David Ibiomie had to call him a rat, that rats cannot burn a lion, and that Paul Eneche had a very big church, bigger congregation, uh, controlling a larger crowd more than him who is Abel Damina because Abel Damina's ministry is actually smaller than Paul and Nature's own. Paul and Nature's own one of the biggest ministries in Abuja. You get so according to him, he called him a rat, he called him all sorts of names because he said he ordained somebody. And he said that because he ordained somebody doesn't mean that the person will not be bigger than him. That sometimes when you bring somebody up, if the person do better than you, that is when you will know that you are proud of that person because you brought this person up. This person is getting bigger than you. Thank God. That's when you will not be happy that yes, at least God did not fail me. I brought this person up and this person is doing better than me so why is um david biomier actually talking like this that is it that this david biomier all the pastors under him he doesn't want them to do better than him he doesn't have plans that the pastor that is grooming will not want the um control larger crowd than him so why is he calling him a rat so this that's why i just feel that the pastors and what is going on these days is that pastors are just fighting themselves like it's just a pastor war church war and for me, I don't really like it. I don't even know why things like this are even happening. But Jolie Pata will say that it's wrong 
is the fact that he mistakenly exposed you know their marital issues years ago that's before they even got married you get but let me call a spade a spade you shouldn't have said that and of course let me tell you also that abel damina have actually he has actually never said this kind of thing on his you know on his pipit he has never exposed this on his pipit this is to tell you the spirit which podcast carries and that's why you see sometimes people will say that it's only a podcast that's going to divide nigeria because sometimes it seems like when you are seated on that seat there's this spirit that just enters you and you don't know how to control your mouth and you just start talking and you now end up saying things that you're not supposed to say you get so let's also forgive him for that that maybe the podcast and too much talking and you know sometimes eh nedu and his followers nedu and his guys they will just ask certain questions and if you're not careful you will go and say and say and say and at the end it is you that they will still drag in the mud the last time even jagede came there and said certain things at the end it was even jagede they dragged in the mud because when they were dragging him you remember when they were dragging him, ah you remember nedu came up there and said stand by what you say and then even Jagger started dragging Nedu up to the point of saying that Nedu used to toast her before, and you know, a lot of drama came up. So, you see the reason why when they advertised that thing that Abel Damina was coming on podcast, people told Nedu not to not to air it. That he should not air it because a lot of things should be said. Because people already know what Abel Damina has been doing, you know, preaching, saying certain things, and they feel that. If you come to a podcast, the likes of Nedu push him harder to say certain things that he's not supposed to say. So these are just the things. And I am not blaming Ebe Damina per se for everything he said. Because if you notice that on Edge Board podcast over, a, over an hour talk, if you notice, he said a lot of things and we learned a lot from the Bible. A lot of things. According to him, the reason why a lot of pastors are misquoting the Bible today about titan, about offerings, about giving to God and all that, that is because the Bible was not written originally in English. It was written in, is it Greek or what self so greek and i think another um language so if a pastor does not know how to speak greek and understand greek the pastor can actually not understand the bible totally the in, in greek they might be saying so something is give whereas in english that give is something else so you might not really understand those that translated the bible has translated it in a very different way and this is same thing that the freeze is saying but because that the freeze is not a pastor pastor per se people are against that the freeze now i am saying this because abel damina actually opened our eyes to a lot of things and he normally when he's speaking he backs it up with the bible passage he's not speaking with sentiments he's not speaking with just ordinary mouth okay he's not speaking with emotions he will speak it and then he will back it up with a bible passage so it makes you understand so if you are watching ever that mean sometimes get your bible if he says something post the video go to your bible and look at the scriptures you will see that everything tallies but for exposing their past marriage issues for me that wasn't right but anyway guys please do well to subscribe to the channel bye for